Welcome back to the channel. We got out here a little bit early today and we're trying to get a topwater bite. I'm throwing this little spitting image. It's a classic walking style bait and been throwing a frog and a toad. I've had some pretty good sniffs on a toad and a frog, but they just don't want to take it. Tried a couple different colors, start out with white, switch to that spicy meatball color. And we're not going to give up on that. We're going to run a couple more points with this topwater pattern, but then it doesn't seem like it's happening. So, um, Instead of being stubborn and trying to force it, we're going to pivot and probably cover some water with a like a chatterbait swim jig type of deal. And then we may have to slow down and drag an old Texas rig around. But it's beautiful out here this morning. Temperatures are in like the mid 60s. We had a little cold front come through and man, it's just absolutely gorgeous. The humidity is pretty low. We've got some overcast conditions. It's supposed to get in the mid 80s later on today. And I'm sure this cloud cover is going to clear out. But for now, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. So we're going to run this pattern for a little bit more and see if we can get bit and kind of make some adjustments. So, hey, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. And a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can snatch a few fish. A swim jig fish still trying to figure it out guys i mean it's i came out here thinking i'd get a top water bite and it's just not happening but just throwing around this Carmel pro lures bama swim jig had a couple bites on it so we're gonna run with this a little bit more and i don't know if we're gonna slide deeper what we're gonna do it's just it's weird right now but it is good to get a bite Shaky head. It is tough out here. I don't know why. I haven't been able to locate the fish. I haven't tried out deep. I haven't really tried any brush. Nothing to rat home about. All right, man, we're continuing to work and try to figure something out. Um, that fish just came on a little Neko rig. There's a little piece of brush out there. And uh, it's dragging through that brush, a little tick. Still have not figured out exactly what's going on. It might just be one of those junk fishing days where you just gotta keep moving around, trying different stuff, but we are gonna run this for a little bit. Another one on the Neko. Starting to get a little confidence. Nice, never even felt that fish bite. Never even felt that fish bite. There we go. It was right up on that little vine there. Just skipped it up there against that bluff. Hm. It's a cool bite, man. A little skipping on the bluffage. But unfortunately, it's time to change one. All right, we just had a fish pull my bait off, so I'm gonna show you how to rig this Neko rig up. Just throwing a six inch Yamamoto sensei worm and kind of a green pumpkin purple color they got crazy colors man but they're all pretty good um so this is what the worm looks like 
And first thing we're gonna do is take this little nail weight. This is a big bite baits. It's a 16 ounce screw in nail weight. So we've got the, the thinner side and then we've got the, the fat, the head part of it. That's the side you're gonna go in. And you're just gonna screw this thing in. You can push it in, screw it in, doesn't really matter. It's gonna stay regardless. I should have actually changed this worm while ago because I got that bite and fish just took all my goods, completely pulled my pants down and took them off and threw them in the trash. So I'm gonna start from scratch. So you just screw that thing in and it's looking like that. Next thing you gotta have is a nickel hook. This is a weedless one so I can work it through brush a little bit better. But if you're just fishing open water, you don't, you don't need that. But you do need an O-ring. They have different kinds of bands you can use. This is probably the easiest and I don't know, it just, it works. So I've got this CUDA wacky rig tool and you just put the little O-ring on there. All right, so we're just gonna put our worm in the back side of this. Just run it down. I don't know if that's the white right to do it or not, but that's how we're doing it. And I just grab my worm, pull it up like that, and just just kind of slide the O-ring off. So you've got your, there's a lot of different wacky rig tools, but you just got your O-ring on there. And we're just gonna slide it down. And we kind of want it, we want it a lot more towards the nail end of it. So there's your rig. I kind of like it, I don't know, two thirds of the way towards the fat side of the worm. And then this is the important part. Instead of going through this way like we would a wacky rig, you go the length of the worm. So you're just gonna put the hook in a little bit, a little bit of the meat of the worm and go right in behind that O-ring and then come out like right there. So it's like that. And you also want the hook point facing towards the skinny part of the worm, so away from the weight. So the, the worm's gonna be sitting on the bottom like this. You want that hook point up. If you had it the other way, you're more likely to get snagged. So that's the deal right there. And this worm just kind of sits on the bottom and you shake and it comes up. It's basically, it's just a, it's a way to fish a wacky rig a little bit deeper. And you can drag it, especially if you put a little bit heavier weight on there, you can drag it on the bottom and work it just like a shaky head or a jig or a Texas rig worm. Um, it's just a, it's a different look. Fish don't see it as much. And nowadays, man, if you can throw something different, you got to do it because the fish have seen a lot of stuff. So that's the, uh, the Neko rig. Oh, it's a good fish. Ooh, catches good fish too, guys. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's a nice fish. Oh, come here, buddy. Don't get me all wet. There we go, man little sensei six inch sensei in the grill that's a good good quality fish this is fun this is fun man I, like i said i don't do this a whole lot but we are figuring it out i love it man love it that fish was in about 14 foot of water and i mean i'm looking at them guys on the devil scope 666 but this is something you can definitely do going down the bank just fishing the grass line or whatever um any kind of you know lay down shallow cover i mean it's 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 like fishing a wacky rig except it sinks you know and you get on the bottom and you just fish it really slow like a shaky head so that's a good bite that was fun i love catching on the spinning gear too oh, I off. Got it. we got another one guys Folks, we figured out a little pattern, man. This is fun. Um, we're just throwing a Neko rig, throwing a little Yamamoto Sensei worm. It's just a six inch worm. Um, and I've got a, this is a VMC weedless Neko hook. So it's just got a little bit of a fiber on there. Just kind of like some heavy duty mono type stuff. 
really good hook for a wacky rig and really good hook for neko rigging that's what we're doing we're neko rigging i got a an o-ring right there to just kind of help with the tear and i've got a big bite baits and nail weight inside of here and we're throwing it on this is a seven foot two medium heavy so uh vertus secure series all-purpose spin i've got 15 pound braid and we've got 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and we're just casting this thing around brush piles i'm seeing a lot of fish roaming around these fish are for me the bite has been really tough lately so i've been playing around with different techniques and they're they're really on shad right now they were on bluegill like three or four weeks ago but now they're really on shad there's a lot of fish roaming around and i i really am having a hard time getting them to bite you know like a little minnow or a underspin or a swim bait or something like that, that even a jerk bait so we're we're throwing this around we are getting some feedback and it's fun this is something that i don't do a whole lot so i really enjoy learning a new technique so we're going to stick this in our hand and continue to try to pick off some fish and talk a little bit about it. Got it. Yeah. Oh, great fish. Nico or Neko? Here's another little tip when you screw that weight in, if you leave just a little bit of it out, when it's contacting the bottom, you kind of, you get better bottom contact with that. So just leave a, I don't know, it's like a 30 second of an inch or something of it out, and you'll, uh, you'll be able to fill the bottom just a little bit better. It's a fun little rig, man. Are you catching big ones or small ones? The way I've been fishing this Neko rig, because it, you know, it lands kind of like this with this weight down. <clears throat> I'm just throwing it out and letting it sink, just like you would in any other bait that you're dragging along the bottom. And once it gets on the bottom, I'm just kind of giving it a little pull and a little shake. And some of these fish are hitting it on the fall, but. Most of them are hitting it on the bottom, and I've been kind of dead sticking it. I just kind of let it sit there for a little bit, especially when I'm fishing out off the bank. We're fishing this little rock stretch right here, but just kind of pulling it up and shaking it. It's like a shaky head or a drop shot, and just keeping a little bit of slack in my line. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, I haven't been really ripping it up off the bottom, um, but that's another way you can do it. You can really rip it up off the bottom and try to catch those suspended fish. Right now we're just kind of looking for fish that are sitting close to the bottom feeding on crayfish or bluegill or whatever. So we're just kind of just kind of inching it along the bottom and that worm will be standing up and it'll just kind of do this. Just gets their attention. And you know, I've, most of the bites have been like a tick, but a couple of them, you know, you just watch your line and your line just kind of swims off. Um, you can do this with, I guess you could do it with bait caster, but spinning, spinning gear is the best. I mean, because, you know, you're throwing it out there and you just keep that bell open, you can get a lot of slack to your line. It just lets it free fall. It's hard to do that on a bait caster. You can do it with the BFS stuff, but I'm um, just a big fan of using the spinning gear. It's a lot easier and it just feels more finessey. Good fish. Good fish, man. Neko rig. So you don't have to use that front looker. Catch fish. There we go. He's a skinny sucker. No wonder he bit that thing. He's hungry. Saw a little lay down over there. Threw the little Neko rig over there. And a sucker. Sucked it in. He's skinny. He's probably on his way out. 
he's actually got a coal tag in him but that's gonna wrap it up folks man we had fun um playing around with this new technique this neko worm that six inch yamamoto sensei worm just any kind of straight tail worm will work uh six seven inches average size you can use a senko or something like that but uh give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content and don't forget to subscribe until next time you know it's tough in the summer got to get out there early and uh or late it's that midday you just i mean you just keep trying stuff and um eventually you get a few bites hopefully we did today you know we had a decent day so that's all i got for you until next time mm -hmm.